What's up, folks? And we are in the marsh two days after Hurricane Francine. I came out and wanted to see how the marsh was looking, see if we had any dead fish, and also just try to catch some fish and have a little fun. So we're gonna uh, poke around this marsh and see what we can find. Hopefully we don't see any fish kills. It wouldn't surprise me if we do see a couple of dead fish, but hopefully we don't see any. So yeah, that's that. We are in Terrebonne Parish in Homer, Louisiana, and uh, we are going to see if we can get in on some redfish action for y'all and have a little fun. So y'all stay tuned and thanks for checking out this video. y'all so of course the water is high that shouldn't stop us from catching a couple of redfish hopefully i think the main thing is trying to find some clean water this water isn't horrible but i would like to find a little bit better water quality for sure so i did spook one redfish when i came around that point over there um i think i see one swimming straight ahead i'm gonna try to creep up on him and see uh got him there he is He hit not too far from the boat, actually. Nice little fish to start off the morning. Now, I didn't actually see this fish, but I did see some action of some fish movement up here as I approached. And uh, I had a strong feeling that there was a redfish or two somewhere right here. So that's why I made that blind cast and it didn't take long for him to, to get it. There we have it, y'all. The first redfish of post-hurricane Francine. One, two, three. Three spots. Got a jacked up eye, but still healthy. That hook popped right out, too. All right. Thank you, little guy. All right, so it looks like Hurricane Francine didn't kill all the fish. <laughs> oh, man, that was awesome. And that fish came off of, y'all already know, spinnerbait. Salt and pepper with a chartreuse tail. And um, it works, it gets the job done. Definitely seeing lots of bait, which is a good thing. Sometimes after a hurricane, you see a big fish kill. I'm talking like bait all over the place, dead fish dead you know just it's a horrible sight to see and the marsh isn't that messed up either i spooked about four redfish so far this morning i think today is going to be a lot of blind casting being that the water is has a dark tint to it and it's a little bit on the high side Oh, no, 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 no. I had one. I had one. I had one, y'all. Right when I said it's going to be a lot of blind casting, I had one. 
Oh man, that was a good fish too. Ah, uh, garfish. I'm looking at it. That's exactly what it was. Popped my line. There we go. Little feisty guy right here. I switched over from that spinner bait to just a little white grub to imitate a bait shrimp. And that didn't take long at all. Look at that. That is a beautiful golden red fish right there simple simple little bait and uh and this is a pretty fish all right so let this girl go Have to turn my motor off because I had it on low. I didn't want this line to get tangled up. But as I was drifting, I seen this red fish floating on by. Not a big one, but a another little spicy guy. Oh girl. I just got into this marsh and I'm already hooked up. That may be a good sign. And we have it, another golden redfish. Didn't take long at all when I got into this new marsh. I've never been back here, so I don't know what to expect, but if it's anything like this or better, then uh, I won't be complaining. Another beautiful fish. Oh man, I had a lot going on when I set the hook on that one. I had the motor still going. Tried to turn it off. I put it in reverse. But it ended up being a successful fight because I landed the fish. So the water is much uh, dirtier back here still don't mean that it's not redfish there's still fish because i just caught one and i think i spooked a couple as well but um, i'm gonna push further back i think there's some vegetation towards the back and the water should be a little bit cleaner definitely see bait and garfish that's for sure And I also see redfish as well. Ah, uh, just seen one. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh man. I was like, I just seen a redfish. And that goes to show you that when you see those redfish floating high like that, and then they just disappear, a lot of times they don't take off unless you see, you know, the mud kick up. A lot of times they just, just sit down. It just goes straight down. And that's exactly what this one did. Cause I didn't see it. I'm like, oh man, I don't see the fish no more. 
and he had the bait in his mouth the whole time and I didn't even know didn't even know I didn't even feel him pick up the bait I just saw my line get tight this is a better redfish better than the first two that I caught or three I forgot how many redfish I caught I think I've caught two or three redfish so far but this is the better one of the day for sure all right he's croaking away and he's ready oh yeah that is a healthy fat red fish right there I don't have my measuring board but this is definitely a slot fish you hear that croaking all right let's get this fish back in definitely a beautiful beautiful fish all right that release didn't go as planned but he was ready all right i've only been back here for about 30 minutes if that and i already caught two redfish and i think i spooked off a couple as well we're gonna we're gonna keep keep pushing back until we get further in the back where that vegetation is well at least where i think the vegetation is and uh see if we can catch us a couple of more I think I've seen some commotion back here. I don't know if it's a gar or a red. I think it's a red. But let's, let's see if we can stand up and check it out. Oh yeah, that's one right ahead of us, guys. Right ahead of us. I'm going to keep this grub style bait on. Just in case that spinner bait is a little bit too much for it. He spooked off that quick that fish spooked off oh ho, 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 ho. big uh, big ugly y'all big ugly oh my gosh Big ugly. I don't even know if he thinks. I think he just realized he's hooked. And he had a lot of opportunities to get off because I had some issues with my bail on my spinner bait. Oh uh, my spinning reel, I'm sorry. But I think he just realized he's hooked. There's some strong man. These are some strong fish. They don't make long runs like those redfish do, but they are very strong and they can be fun to catch. And if you're wondering like, why don't you just horse them in and you know, do what you gotta do. I don't like doing that unless I'm fishing a tournament. Um, I'm enjoying the fight. This is light tackle. So I have 15 pound test. This is a medium action rod. So I'm just enjoying this, man. I'm just enjoying this. Oh, there you go. It's a nice little run. And as y'all can tell, they have a lot of power. Those big wide tails that they have, man, these fish are very powerful. Okay, 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 now he's making a run. Now he's making a run. It took him long enough. Dang.
black drum this size, they get bigger than this, but a black drum this size, this fish has been around for a very long time. So that's another reason why I appreciate these fish because I know that they've been around for a long time when they're this big and bigger. It's been a while since I caught one this big, so I'm looking forward to getting this fish in. I don't want to pop my line or break my rod, so. Oh man, look at this beast, man. This one actually has some pretty colors on it. I'm gonna try my best to get this fish up here. Oh, this fish is heavy, y'all. Oh, look at the size of this beast. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. Mm. All right, y'all. Let's get this beast back in the water where it belongs. Gosh. Whew. All right, y'all. So that big old black drum came off of this little bitty bait. <laughs> so elephants do eat peanuts. I see one right there, y'all. Yep. Yep. Seen that fish rise up and and push off to the left. I think this fish is ready. Got some battle scars on this one, but still a pretty fish. Let's get this hook out and get her back in the water. There you have it. Thank you. So just what I thought, as I push further back into this new marsh that I'm in, the water has gotten a lot cleaner, which is a good thing. So the water has definitely changed colors. I think I just spooked one to my left over here. I don't see it, but I seen the wake. Man, this water is extremely clear back here. This is the cleanest water I've seen in a while. Definitely some pretty marsh back here. You got all these trees. Pretty marsh. Got birds flying around. Almost looks like you'll see a dinosaur come through there. That comment was kind of biased because I like Jurassic Park, but it is definitely, definitely real nice out here. I didn't even see that fish. I just figured they would have one in that little cut right there. Dang, if 
feisty. Alright, that didn't take long. Alright, let's get this fish in. Man, man. I know I say this about every fish, but I'm not lying when I say it. This is a very pretty fish. <laughs> Sound like a broken record, but unless you see these redfish in person, for those that have never caught a redfish before, you come down to South Louisiana, you will catch some beautiful fish that look just like this, and some of them can be even prettier. All right, last look at this guy. We're gonna put him back in. Yeah, that fish came right there in the cut, which is where you would think a redfish would be at. And I made a blind cast in there and he smoked it. All right, peeps, so I'm about to head back to the truck. I would have to say that I had a pretty successful day of fishing. It was pretty much kind of figuring it out as I go. And to say that the water was high and I had to really search to find some clean water, I would have to say I did pretty good. I'm, I'm satisfied with the trip that I had today. All my fish today came off of a spinnerbait and also a little white simple grub style, which is this right here from Strike King. Just put that on the jig head and hop it around. It looks like a shrimp. The marsh that I was in today looked real good. I didn't see any fish kills. As far as hurricane damage, I haven't really seen anything done to the marsh from the storm. That's definitely a good thing. And uh, hopefully when I go check out a couple of more areas around Homa, I can say the same thing. With that being said, I'm about to put this motor in full throttle and head on back to the launch and uh, enjoy the rest of this day. So thank y'all once again for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, tight lines and God bless.